alarm's going off. We'll take it easy on the battery for there. It turned off. Now we got... <clears throat> Just got this from FMS. It's the battery voltage tester. It also is an alarm. Now, you could pick up something like this, this one, at Amazon for a couple bucks. This one here, it's on the FMS website for five bucks. Now, before you start saying, whoa, you know, that's ridiculous, I could buy two for the price of this one, this one does something the others don't. And that is, it, when the alarm hits a certain voltage, once the pack recovers, the alarm goes off. So what do I mean by that? So let's plug this in. The way I plug it in is there's a negative wire there and there's a negative symbol there. Plug it in like so. Let's pretend this is in my airplane. Beeps, flip it over. <clears throat> It'll tell you all the, the voltage data you want as far as each cell. So you can see if your cells are imbalanced and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. But the real cool part is this. You put this in a plane you fly it, and prior to that, you've set this for 3.6 volts. So if one of the cells gets below 3.6 volts, the alarm goes off. Back off the throttle <clears throat> and let the pack recover. Guess what? The alarm stops. Whereas this, it doesn't. It just keeps beeping. Brings no value at all for this kind of uh, poor man's telemetry, if you will. Anyway... Great solution, low cost, try it out. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I got one of these because there's a couple planes I'm going to put them in just because I like to run that battery down as far as I can. And sometimes when you're just doing touch and goes, instead of getting five minutes, you can get eight minutes. So just one of the things I like about it. All right, we have this set up on our discharger and I've set the alarm for 3.8. So as soon as it gets below 3.8, the alarm will go off. I'll unplug it, and you'll see that the alarm will stop. Whereas the cheap one from Amazon will just keep on beeping. Let's see what happens here. Nope, oh, there we go. I unplug it. It's going to recover and stop beeping, which is the whole point of these things. For a poor man's battery telemetry from FMS, link in the description. Have a good one.